Hello viewers, welcome back. This is a Limu TV, a station where you watch and learn. This is one of our new topic, our favorite again, on communication. Now, in communication, we're going to look at a number of things, right? And uh, I'm just hoping that it will be one of our interesting topic. Now, we'll get to discuss today traditional forms of communication. Now, by the end of the lesson, what do we expect learners? That all we expect is that we'll be able to describe the traditional forms of communication and also get to highlight some of the traditional forms of communication. Now, before we go to our class today, can someone get to tell us what communication is? Very good, very good, thank you. Now, communication, this is the sending and receiving of messages through a medium. That the sending and receiving of information through a medium is what we call communication. For example, we are communicating, we have just communicated, right? I have asked you, I have asked one of you a question, right? And they have responded, that is communication. Now, the exchange of messages, that sending and receiving of information through a medium is what we call communication. And also, we must note that this involves a receiver sending back a response, right? Now, I can't send, I can't, I, I can't send a message without getting a feedback, right? That is not communication. So it must be a two-way thing. I send a message, you also send a response. That is what we call communication. Well, let us get to traditional forms of communication. Now, as people live, live together, they found it necessary that they should come up with a way of communicating information and ideas. And again, now what are some of these methods of communication in traditional society? Let us look just at a few of the means or channels of communication. We heard smoke signals, as you can see there, we have got people who have just lit fire, right? And now the smoke is communicating something. That is how people in the traditional society would communicate. Now, wherever people will see smoke, they'll just know there is something in that place. Now, they could go to the place of the smoke. That is one main of traditional forms of communication, the smoke signal. We also had horn blowing, right? As you can see, there's someone holding, holding, holding a horn, right? That, that, uh, that twisted thing is what we call the horn. Right? And now the person is blowing. Right? Now when you blow a horn, you are passing a certain message. And different communities ha could, could take the message differently. The, we had specialists who could blow these horns. Right? Now a message had its sound. Right? Or a certain message had its way of blowing the horn. Now that is another means of traditional communication. We also had messengers. Right? Messengers were people who could run. As you can see there, we have got three people there. Right? Those are people who have been sent. They are running, taking a message. Right? Now, they could be told a message. For example, they could be sent to a certain community or a neighboring village. They, will be given the, they, they could be given the information take, take to that village. Now, those were the messengers. And one thing you must note that they could walk for a distance for them to take the message. And also, we had written messages, right? Different communities use different samples and alphabets to write different messages. For example, we had the, we had the scrolls, right? So the scrolls were just scrapped on a piece, on a piece of, on a piece of folded paper. And also, we had stone tablets. And mostly the scrolls and stone tablets, they were in the ancient, in the ancient Egypt, right? During when a writing was introduced. Now, those are some of the traditional means of communication. We have looked at horn blowing. We have looked at smoke signal. We have looked at messengers. We have looked at uh, the written messages, for example, the scrolls and medium, and or rather the stone tablets. Now, for our task, can we get 
to state free limitations of smoke signals and also get to state some free advantages of written messages what are some of the advantages and what are some of the limitations of smoke signals get to refer to evolving world history and government form two and as always this is your tutor rojab always presenting in elimu tv your favorite learning channel where you watch and learn get in touch with us via our contact address thank you so much